Hello friends and viewers. Welcome to another tutorial of Switcher Studio. I'm Peter Sunday of SPD Media and today I'm going to show you how you can stream multi-camera angle into your Zoom. And the reason why I do this is through this pandemic we have so many audience in the church that are Facebook followers and we have some people who maintain their privacy. They don't want to have anything to do with Facebook so they just maintain Zoom. We have Zoom audience and we have Facebook audience. So, but for the purpose of those who are on Zoom, we used to stream a different camera into Zoom. They just see the author directly and that's it. They don't have opportunity to see the audience. They don't see the choir when choir are ministering. So because of them, I now figure out how can I integrate Switcher Studio into Zoom? And that is what we are going to look at today. So quickly, I am using, I'm going to switch my camera quickly. I'm switching into my, I have iPad 2020. And this iPad 2020, I'm going to show you some of the component that this. So this iPad, it comes with a Type-C charger and port. So this is the port. So I bought this dongle. And with this dongle, what it does is it helps me. I have the, I have three and a half inch um, headphone set. I have the charger. I have a mini um, SD card. I have the SD card for camera. I have HDMI. And I have on top of here, I have the USB, which I'm connecting my audio directly into. So the dongle slides into the side of, I can pull this out quickly so that you see. So this is, yeah, this is the dongle itself. That's it. So this is the dongle. It came in a way that you can easily slide it on the side of your iPad and make it look like if it's part of the iPad. So I'm just going to slide it back onto my iPad. So I might not really get it perfectly fixed this time, but just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to put the um, iPad Pro back just to have you, just to let you know what is going on behind the scene with my connection this hdmi video card hdmi into usb and that is what i'm going to use to bring the audio i mean to bring the video source into my zoom so with this card you don't really need any any software to install it just right from the box you plug it in to your computer so the next thing is the HDMI. Like I've just showed you, um, the, the dongle that I have, it has HDMI out. So I'm going to plug the HDMI. Now the HDMI is plugged in right here. Then on the receiving end, I'm going to plug that same HDMI into my video capture card just like that make sure it's snug and i'll put it back into now i have put in the hdmi i'm running it into my zoom so now i'm going to fire up my zoom and let you see how the zoom is going to receive this video source I am going to fire up my Zoom by starting a new meeting. The Zoom is using the webcam on the laptop, but that is not going to be my video source. So I'm going to put back the card. So at the moment, the camera that is showing is the webcam. So to bring in this, to bring in the camera, I will go to USB video. Good. Nice. So if you are looking at the footage now, the video looks stretchy. From the live view, it looks stretchy. 
So, and to fix this, what we can do is we go back into the video setting. So, from here, we are going to check the HD, you check HD and original video simultaneously. That should fix the problem. Now, the video is in a normal resolution. So, if I switch camera angle, you can see right from here, you can see on the zoom whatsoever i am doing here is showing on the zoom screen so that is going to be the end of this video for today just let me know if you have any comment or any question and if you like this video give it a thumbs up i really appreciate it it's going to go a long way um in helping and if you haven't subscribed yet this is the moment for you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on when next I post another informative content like this. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.